The joy of play is an essential part of childhood. Play is more than just a childish pastime. It is an activity that engages the body and the senses, helping children develop skills, knowledge, and values that lay the foundation for later learning and development. Many early childhood centers and preschools around the world favor a direct instruction approach to learning. Educators stand and teach while children sit, listen, and maybe learn. While such an approach can have value, research shows that child-centered, developmentally appropriate, playful instruction actively engages young children in learning and leads to better social and educational outcomes. Through active play, children use their imaginations, establish the rules of their game, and negotiate roles, all while learning how to cooperate, resolve conflicts, and manage their emotions. In the context of play, children can also test out newly developed writing, reading, verbal, and math skills. Playful learning is more than simply spicing up a lecture with flashcards or colorful pens. It is an approach that uses children's natural curiosity and creativity to support learning and development. Guided play is structured by an adult and based on a specific curriculum goal. Importantly, guided play is still directed by the child, though the educator will give some specific materials, guidelines, or scenarios. After laying the foundation for the activity, the educator or caregiver may participate to help spark learning and discovery by asking open-ended questions, encouraging children to communicate what they're thinking, and helping the children understand how one activity relates back to a bigger theme. Guided play can be the most effective way to teach some concepts. Since learning begins at birth, these playful approaches can be practiced in the home as well. Families can engage babies and toddlers in playful activities using common items found in their home or community. Using local materials and linking play to activities that are valued in the community is very important. Educators can use local songs and introduce new vocabulary or use materials that are found in that region. Open-ended materials and props, such as boxes, painted corn cobs, cloth, sticks, and beads, can be more effective in sparking children's imaginations than specially designed toys. To maximize space, educators should design an early learning environment with a number of distinct areas based around different types of activities. When facilities are small, educators and caregivers can make use of outdoor space, first making sure that it is safe for children, then setting up games and materials for children to use. Role-playing is often an effective way to help educators understand the child's perspective. Acting as the learner, they're able to see how open-ended and probing questions like, if you put this here, what happens next, can help the child discover the answer on their own. At first, many community members may think that children only learn through serious or strict lessons. Educators can help change this mindset and build support for this form of learning by hosting community meetings and performances, distributing materials, and meeting directly with parents to explain the many benefits that playful learning has for children and even adults. Research provides powerful evidence for the positive effects that playful learning has on child development. Through play, children develop spatial awareness, build their memory skills, learn to listen and work with others, and use words to express their feelings. Studies have shown that young children who attend play-based classrooms are able to manage their emotions better, have fewer behavioral problems, and better academic performance than students in lecture-based early childhood classrooms. These early gains increase the chance that they will do better in school. By guiding young children through fun and productive play activities, educators and caregivers can help them grow and develop to achieve their full potential.